Right, pick a doom, ghost chili post scratchings. Oh. So what's going on guys, welcome back to another video here on my channel Genius Reviews. My name is Ethan and in today's video I'm going to be trying something new that I've never tried before. So the new thing that I have found on Twitter, I found a company called Snaffle and Pig Coat. Now I've never used them before, I read a little bit about what they do, they make pork scratchings and their list of stuff on their website is massive. They do gift jars and everything. So. I found three flavors that I really wanted to try because usually pork scratchings, all I've ever tried is salted flavor. So number one, I've gone for porky puffs. So these are like, I'm guessing the aerated version of um, pork scratchings. So these ones are low and slow porky puffs, low and slow barbecue, so barbecue flavor. Pork cracking with Coleman's mustard flavor. Now for me, ham sandwiches, Coleman's mustard reminds me of when I was young and my grandpa used to make me food. This for me is something that I'm excited to try. These are probably gonna be outstanding. And then last, finally not least, the smallest packet. I don't know if you can read that. Ghost chili pork crackling with, it says on the back, Naga Buchalokia chili flavored pork crackling. So, we got a little pack of Pig of Doom, pork crackling from Coleman's Mustard, and the low and slow porky puffs to try from Snaffle and Pig Coat. So shout out to you for something completely different. These are, weirdly, something that I thought about the other day. I thought about flavoured pork scratchings. I thought, no one's really doing them. Bam, Twitter show me snapping Pico, and I've gone ahead and bought some. Because I love pork scratchings so much. So, big bag first, porky puffs, snapping and Pico. So as you can see, these are not exactly crackling. They're like aerated, so they're more like a crisp. Mm. Oh my god. Yeah, a little dry, but that happens. It does happen because it's aerated pig fat, but they're good. Mmm, you're crunching that. Yes. That is good. So, the low and slow pokey puffs for me, these are class, these are quality. I could actually set, so 14 grams of protein per pack, under two grams of carbs per pack. So, in all fairness, they're actually pretty tasty. I would happily sit in a cinema and eat these or at home watching a film. Don't think everyone else would be with my chewing and crunching, but these are so good. There's a nice barbecue, salty pork flavor coming through. Those, I rate them so high. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of these after I finish the video so much. Next up, guys, Snapple and Pig Co. Coleman's Mighty Mustard flavor. Mustard reminds me of ham sandwiches and my grampy. It reminds me of just the best mustard in the world. Oh, we see them in there. So these are pork crackling. These are actually um, pork scratchings, as you know in Britain. Oh, and you threw them on the floor. Everything I do on this channel nearly ends up on the floor. That's where we have it. These are pork scratchings. They smell so good. So, Mighty Mustard Coleman's, let's get it. Oh. Mmm. So far. Mmm. I don't know if you can see with the camera, but behind these, there's a lot of um, like mustard yellow covering. I love pork scratching so much. Guys. These are so good.
Oh my god. One more, one more. It's a strong mustard flavour. Not too overpowering. You can taste the pearl scratches for it. I'm in heaven. I've died. I'm going to heaven. So, honestly, these are the best ones so far. The Lowen's Flow Barbecue ones, really good flavour to them. But they're quite sweeter. These are hitting the nail on the head for me. Like I said, I'm a big fan of Coleman's mustard anyway. So to put that on pork scratchings, if I could buy these in my local pub, I swear I would be skimmed when I go in there. Now we're on for the last. The small one, but it probably packs the biggest punch. Naga Blue Jalokia, Pig of Doom. Quite a good name actually, Pig of Doom. Pig of Doom Ghost Chili Pork Scratchings. Now, I don't know how hot these are going to be. These could be really hot, I don't even know. But the only way I'm going to find out is by eating them. So, I'm going to try and do the whole bag. That's quite worrying. It literally smells of nothing. It just smells like pork scratchings. Right, so I'm uh, going to show you guys one first. Now that for me looks like, I'm trying to put these down. Like that's got a lot of coating on it, or whatever that is. I couldn't tell you. It doesn't look like chili. Well, then again, a little bit, I suppose, not much. So these are ghost chili pork scratchings. I'm actually scared he's gonna be hot, but oh, just my nose with it. Oh, the pig of doom, snapping and pig go, ghost chili pork scratchings. Let's get it. Mmm, my gosh. Good chili flavour on them. Bit of heat building. Quite worried actually, that's building quite strong. Now, heat level, compared to all the Caroline Reaper stuff I've been eating, it's not quite there. But, it's definitely a burn there. I don't know if it's because I've been eating the Reaper stuff lately that I'm not really feeling it. It's hitting the back of the throat now. It's building. It is building. So, only got a couple left. The heat's picking up pretty good. About three left. Ooh. So, so far, flavor wise, the cold one mustard one does it for me. The low and slow barbecue are nice, but they're not as nice as the mustard ones. These, however, Got a really nice flavour to them, but that chilli is kicking in so hard right now. I'm starting to get to that bit. <coughs> in the throat. Ugh. Almost there. Sweat is really turning up now. All gone. Do I do the powder? Do I do the powder? Hit the like button if I should do the powder and this. Let me go then. Oh, it worked there. <coughs> Holy shit. Oh, that was so much worse than the actual scratchings. Right, Pig of Doom, Ghost Chili Pork Scratchings. Oh. The difference is I can sort of take this heat. This is my level, this is definitely my level. Yeah, it's up there with the Reaper Wings. 
If you're a chili fan, get yourself a pack of these Pig of Dooms if you also like pork scratchings. The heat's building. I'm starting to struggle a little, I can feel it. Maybe it's just me, you might have a better chili tolerance than me. Maybe you'll find these really tasty. These for me are more the, the favorite ones, followed by these. And then third, the barbecue. I can see how a lot of people would like the barbecue. That's probably one of their best sellers. These are shitting hot. It's not so much the actual scratchings, it's when you get to the bottom. And these ones, these are the best tasting ones for me out of the video. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you've enjoyed this video and also watch out for more future videos coming here on the channel. Any suggestions for food review videos or any other videos, drop them down in the comments below. I answer every single comment here on the channel. My mouth is so burning right now. My, my lips are just gone. I, I, they're numb. Oh. Oh, sweating like I've just done a half marathon. Those ghost chili pork scratchings are a must buy if you're a chili fan. Don't forget guys, if you liked the video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.